What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to look at the latest MLB rumors and news around Major League Baseball through the past week or so. That's what we're going to do in today's video. But before I get into this video, if you want great baseball content throughout this lockout, this unfortunate lockout, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because this is a place to be on baseball YouTube for great baseball content throughout this terrible lockout. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Starting off with the first rumor that we have is that the Rangers want Clayton Kershaw. Now, this should be no surprise, considering that Kershaw's hometown is in Texas. And Clayton Kershaw, definitely, um, the Dodgers haven't really shown a lot of interest in him coming back. They didn't give him the qualifying offer, even offer him the qualifying offer. In 2021, he posted a 10 and 8 record with a 3.55 ERA and 22 games started, 121 innings pitched, 144 strikeouts, and a 1.01 whip with a 2.4 WAR. Um, yeah, and he, like I said, hometown very close to Texas, and the Rangers need starting pitching very much so, considering their best starter as of right now is an overpaid with 14 million dollar John Gray. Now, I thought the move of John Gray was solid. Their offense, obviously, is very good with Corey Seager, Marcus Simeon, Nate Lowe. They've got a lot of guys on offense. But I think the idea of Clayton Kershaw is not a bad idea. I'll say that. I think that they should also look for some trades because they do have a very good farm system. Players like Justin Foskey, Ezekiel Durant, they have a couple players like that that just don't fit in very well with their future, and they could look to trade. So maybe they'll look to trade a couple of those Dudes and maybe trade them for somebody like Sonny Gray, Tyler Malley, Chris Bassett, Frankie Montas, um, one of those. Or Luis Castillo or somebody like that. But I think the idea of Clayton Kershaw is a good one. Um, buy or sell this rumor. I mean, I buy it. I think that the Rangers probably do want Clayton Kershaw. It's just a matter of will they get him with the money that they've already spent. Next up is the, a Matt Olson potential trade. The Braves and the Athletics discussed a Matt Olson trade prior to the lockout starting. So for Matt Olson in 2021, this guy posted MVP type numbers in 2021 for the Oakland Athletics, but the Athletics are looking to move in a different direction. And in 2021, he posted a 271 batting average, 39 home runs, 111 RBIs. With a 371 all base percentage of 540 slugging and 911 OPS and an OPS plus of 153. I actually do like the idea of the Braves getting Matt Olson. Do I like the idea of Freddie Freeman leaving? Absolutely not. But I think that if you're looking for a backup type option, if he does leave, um, then I think that Matt Olson would be a pretty good one. Matt Olson obviously posted MVP type numbers and is younger than Freddie Freeman. Um, but they will have to possibly pay him more, um, and stuff. So the Braves have a lot of assets so that they could trade to the Oakland Athletics. And the Athletics have one of the worst farm systems in baseball right now. And they could use some players back and they've got plenty of assets like Drew Waters, Christian Pache, Braden Shoemake, Kyle Muller, um, even a Shea Langley if they're willing to give him up or a Michael Harris. But they've got a lot of assets, and Drew Waters and Christian Pache just don't fit in that great with their team. Christian Pache is a guy who has been defensive heavy ever since coming into Major League Baseball. And just uh, really, to be honest, hasn't done much and isn't going to be really a productive hitter from what it's looking like. So Pache is a guy that could definitely be traded. And Drew Waters is another guy that, you know, had a down season. And this is another guy that's just not really to looking like a part of the Braves' future right now. So I buy this rumor as well. Next up is Shohei Otani and the Los Angeles Angels. Otani says that there is no extension talks between Otani and the Angels just yet. Now, Otani is going to be an unrestricted free agent in 2024. Now, he has an arbitration three-year in 2023, and for 2022, he's going to be getting paid about $5 million won the American League MVP in 2021, posted a 257 batting average, 46 home runs, 100 RBIs, 26 stolen bases, and don't even get me started because he actually pitched as well, posting a 92 record with a 3.18 ERA and 23 games started this year. So Otani, if he plays like this, obviously is going to be set 
to be the highest paid player in Major League Baseball. Probably could get over $400 million in free agency. A ton of money. And that type of money, the Angels just honestly don't have um, to give. They've paid Anthony Rendon a lot of money. They they obviously have the Mike Trout contract. And obviously, you still have two more years of Otani. But when that contract's up, they just may not they just may not have the money to resign. They still have the bad Justin Upton contract on there. And Noah Syndergaard, they are still playing a lot of money for this year. But obviously, he'll be off the books by the time un unrestricted free agency comes for Otani. This one, I don't. I, I actually think he'll be leaving the Angels once free agency hits. Not only because they're losing a lot, and I don't think he. And it's already been said that he doesn't really like losing. So I think that it's going to be pretty obvious that the Angels, for one, don't have enough money to pay him, and for two, the fact that Otani wants to win, and Los Angeles is not the place for that. We've already seen that with Mike Trout. Next up is an international player in Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki. Apparently, the Giants and Red Sox are the current favorites to sign him. Um, there are some other teams in the mix, such as the Mariners and Padres as well, that are in the mix for Sia Suzuki. But Suzuki has been a great player internationally um, in Japan, but um, is going to be waiting out the lockout to come over to the major leagues. And even the Mets have been rumored for somebody like Sia Suzuki, an outfielder, third baseman, and shortstop. In a 2021 for Hiroshima, he posted 38 home runs, 88 RBIs, a 317 batting average, a 433 on base percentage, and a 636 slugging percentage, over 1,000 OPS. This is a guy that posted a really good year. And the Giants and Red Sox both make a lot of sense for somebody like Seiya Suzuki. And if Seiya Suzuki can live up to this production that he's putting up in Japan and transfer it over to the major leagues, even though there have been quite a bit of bust, there has been Shohei Otani. Um, the Red Sox definitely could use right fielder after trading Hunter Renfro to the Milwaukee Brewers very, I mean, just about an hour before the lockout started. The Giants are another team, though, that could look for, um, somebody like, say, a Suzuki. Um, Suzuki obviously would need to be good defensively in the right field of San Francisco, but they need a right fielder pretty bad with Dostrempsi having quite the down season in 2021 for this team. So I think that they could definitely use somebody like this. Obviously, a lot of their players, for for what we looked at, really overperformed in um, 2021. So who knows if that will happen again. But I do think they need a better right fielder. And Sia Suzuki would be a big upgrade over Mike Yastrzemski, in my opinion. And yeah, obviously, Buster Posey's retired. They've lost Kevin Gosman. They've lost quite a bit of... What that team was last year that surprised everybody. And the final one is that the Yankees are going to pursue Freddie Freeman after the lockout. Now, we've already kind of talked about the Braves' first base situation. But now we're going to talk about him possibly to the Yankees. Now, in 2021, he posted a 300 batting average, 31 home runs, 83 RBIs, a 393 on base percentage, a 503 slugging, an 896 OPS, an OPS plus of 133, and a 4.7 war. Now, this is a guy that has been with the Braves his whole career since he was a second-round draft pick in the 2007 MLB draft by the Atlanta Braves. This is a guy that's been homegrown and that has um, been there for how bad the Braves have been and obviously how good they were this past season. So, the Braves can't let this guy go. They He's looking for about six years, $180 million. $30 million is not too crazy, to be honest. You, you need to sign Freddie Freeman back because Orlando Arcia is your starting first baseman right now. They've got to do something at first base. Eric Cosmer's definitely not an option. Anthony Rizzo is a huge downgrade. And obviously they did it without, you know, Ronald Acuna last year. Um, even Charlie Morton for most of the playoffs, they were without him. They were without a lot, a lot of talent. But the thing is that the Braves have to bring this guy back. And um, I'm sure Yankees fans would would love him on their team, just as any any team would. Um, any team would love a Freddie Freeman on their team. And the Yankees do have a obvious first base hole there. Even though Luke Voigt puts up insane power numbers, he's not going to hit for a high average, and he's going to strike out a lot, which is exactly what just about everybody on the Yankees does. So it's nothing new there. 
Um, but Voigt is a guy that, you know, they could look to trade him or whatever. But um, definitely, I think they'll look more towards a possible um, Matt Olsen trade is what I thought. But they're also saying that they're not going to trade Oswald Peraza or Anthony Bolt and are not looking to trade those guys. So um, I, I think that Freddie Freeman will re-sign with the Braves. It's um, um, sometime whenever this lockout ends. Uh, but yeah, those are the five rumors as of February 7th, I think is today, um, 2022. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications. Because like I said, this is a place to be for great baseball content throughout the lockout. This is a place to be. So go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications. Thank you for watching, and peace.